about Philadelphia. Okay, you know about Ben Franklin. You know about Philadelphia sports fans. You know about Phillies, Eagles, Flyers, Sixers. You know about the Independence Declaration of Independence, Independence uh, Hall, William Penn, stuff like that. You know about cheesesteaks. You know, you know about pretzels. It's called Philly pretzels, water rice, stuff like that. I'm gonna teach you a little bit something about my favorite places of Philadelphia. I know you want to go to the familiar places. You know about Ben Franklin, William Penn, and and uh, you know uh, Pats and Geno's. South Street. But. If you want to really, really visit Philadelphia. You really want the best of Philadelphia. You want a cheesesteak. Don't go to Pat's. Don't go to Geno's. You know. Go to. uh, A place like Mama's. Which is not really, really, really in Philadelphia. It's more like. Outskirt a little bit. Off of City Line Avenue. Uh, Not too far. It's like City Line Avenue is like a divider, okay, with Philadelphia and Bala Kenwood. So you want to go to Mama's, the best cheesesteaks, best cheesesteaks in the city, in my opinion. There's also uh, Jim Steaks. It's pretty good. So you can check them out. Pizzas, you uh, you want to go to, uh, I think it's Lorenzo's, Banging Pizza all day. You want to go to uh, TLA, check out a few shows. Uh, that's that's a pretty good spot. South Street is pretty good in general. So you can hang out on South Street. That's not too bad. Um, you want to go to a mall, you want to go out to like the Franklin Mills. And that's all the way up northeast. I like Franklin Mills. That's my favorite place because <clears throat> I get to go to Sam Ash. And I get to buy all my music equipment. I get to buy microphones. I get to buy uh, mixers, speakers, uh, whatever I need. Keyboards, drum machines, whatever. Sam Ash is that place. Plus, you go out there, go to movie theaters. They have a uh, uh, movie day, $5. $5 to go to the movies. You can't beat that. Um, and we also got water rice. We got pretzels. I mean, you can get to anywhere, any any readers, uh, any type of uh, water rice place. They're all over all over downtown, they're everywhere, they're in Northeast too, Uh, I love Chinatown, I also love um, on Washington Avenue, Um, from Broad and Washington Avenue all the way down, uh, they got Vietnamese uh, restaurants, they got Vietnamese supermarkets, Uh, food is so great, food is so great in there, they have this uh, uh, one place that they make uh, a fresh sugar juice from sugar cane, oh it's awesome, then uh, Ninth Street. Now I'm traveling here on Ninth Street, where it's uh, it's not the weekend, but on the weekend mornings, all uh, these vendors, all these vendors are filled. On Ninth Street, they're selling everything. They're selling crabs. They're selling all types of fruits and vegetables. I mean, fresh, like like right there. It, I mean, and you don't. I can't drive through here. I got to get out and I have to walk. Ninth Street is awesome. It's the best. Uh, when you're talking about um, that type of vendor food, it's I think it's a little bit better than than the Reading Terminal. Reading Terminal is pretty good too, so you might want to uh, check out the Reading Terminal. Also, one of my favorite uh, places is here, my studio. I cook, I got my studio at home. I get to record, and I get to uh, edit my videos all day. Um, I have all types of artists that come through, and they come and they record here. I have a little booth that's that's behind behind the camera right there. <laughs> you can't really see it, but um, I have a nice size booth. I love recording here. Uh, I I love my studio. It's great energy. Uh, my wife uh, helps me out. Uh, she helps me with uh, with with planning. She also uh, helps me with um, with with editing and shooting sometimes. 
I can show you some of my equipment that I work with. This is my drum machine. This is a Roland MV8000. Best drum machine on the planet, in my opinion. Um, I can do everything with it. I can incorporate all types of sounds, sound effects from sound CDs. I can uh, create and blend my own sounds and samples. I can sample, and I got to hook up to the monitor here. So it looks like kind of like a recording studio, but it's me uh, sequencing my beats. It's awesome. The sound quality is awesome because you can incorporate any type of drum sound you want. Uh, I have uh, I have about 20 to 30 different type of drum, drum machine kits I have in this in this machine. Um, also, this is my recording studio here. Um, if you can see, I use I use that's my monitor for it. If I can scroll down here, maybe you can see my audio controller right down here. Uh, it's a digi rack, so I use that. And I got it hooked up to this computer right here. I know my monitor is a little outdated, but uh, <laughs> but that's okay. My first audio controller, this is my sampler, the uh, S760 Roland. Um, and I had that hooked up to my um, Yamaha RX5 drum machines. I have three of them, you know, still stacked around. And the funny thing is... I still have music on them, um, and I have this Roland VP9000 Veriface processor. Anyway, this is, uh, if you ever come to Philly, check out those places and um, get uh, get the, the best cheesesteaks, get, get pretzels and water ice. Um, make sure that you go to Broad Street. Broad Street has, has all of the plays. Um, all the places where the, the Kidwick Center, the um, they got all the centers there. They got the um, the Wilma the theater. So they got all of the plays that you want to go see. Go uh, get on Broad Street. If you go to the other side of Broad Street, you can go to Temple. You go watch Temple games. You go to the Temple uh, theater. I mean, it's awesome. If you come to Philly, make sure because everybody wants to come for the cheesesteaks and come to. Don't do not go to Geno's or Pets. They do not represent. Go there just because you want to see it, but they do not represent Philly cheesesteaks. Trust me, those steaks you can make at home. You don't. No Philly cheesesteaks are made with cheese whiz. I repeat, no Philly cheesesteaks is made with cheese whiz. So if you see cheese whiz on a steak, you walk away. Say, let me get a real Philly cheesesteak. So I hope you enjoyed it for the little bit that I, that I try to put together for you and hope that when you do come to Philly, you just remember those things. And, um, and I hope your time in Philly is fun. So this is Jonathan Zimmerman from Zim Productions. Thank you for watching. <laughs>